Hello everyone, and welcome back to the skull. More Nikokuro in Lily's story. Uh, from what uh, Iris's story, he came in two parts. Uh, well, because of length-wise. Uh, like the second episode was a lot longer because I had a lot more I wanted to say. And probably will happen here too, because though the, uh, the creator of this game has their own words for their character, which are very, very nice, and how they put it. I have my own ways of how I want to put things, so. And what kind of playthrough would this be if I didn't say my own opinion to show my character, uh, my characteristics and choices? So let's continue the rest of Lily's story. After we came back home. Hey, Mark! Did you break something again? Come on now, give her... Be nice! Don't assume the worst from her! What? No! I just wanted to ask. Would you like to go with me to the cinema? I thought you are not interested in that. I'm asking you out for a date. Oh, sorry. I'm already taken. Too late. My words would be... Oh, I still wouldn't mind going. Uh, but as for a date... Uh, Lily... already mentioned that she really likes me. Uh, and she also mentioned that you and Iris... Uh, both liked me too. But since she brought it up already... I'm gonna... I'm gonna spend time with her. But I still wouldn't mind going to the cinema. I looked at Lily behind me. That's right! Oh! And here we thought you wouldn't do it, Lily. Looks like I lost. Lost? Wait, what? Did you girls make a bet off of it, out of it? <laughs> Maybe. Well, well, we believed you were only dreaming about it and reading books. Yeah, dreaming about it and reading books. Hmm. I'm still not sure if you two are a couple. Huh? Why? You could have said it just so I lose. <laughs> Come on. There's only one way to make sure. Huh? Kiss! Wait, like, in front of you? Why not? You're together right now, right? Uh... Just... What was the bet about? Loser cooks dinner. Er, Rose cooking something? Mark, can we? <laughs> this is so adorable. <laughs> Just a bit that she would ask me or tell me that she loves me? Uh, that you. That when are you would be making dinner? What? Why would that be a bet in the first place? Even though it's adorable as heck, it's... And very sweet from Lily. Um, but... <laughs> uh, all is said and done. But... Anyways. Sure. Um... We slowly got closer together. Closed our eyes and... Kissed. Her lips were soft and tasted like strawberry. Chapstick? Give me a chapstick! Maybe he's just saying it. I can feel her arms around my neck. Mm. 
I did the same, holding her around her waist. I felt like... She, I felt she had to stand on her toes slightly to reach me. Oh, because she's smaller. But still, it's so sweet. You see? We did it! Um... Rose and Iris looked at each other. To tell you the truth? Uh, to tell you the truth? There was no bet! <laughs> Lily, I think we got played. <laughs> we were simply curious if you really liked each other. Yep. We're happy our sister is in your hands, Mark. Take good care of her from now on, all right? Oh, I, I still enjoyed the kiss, though. I'd lean over and give her a hug. Good morning! Lily's attitude was cheery and bright as she entered the kitchen with a bounce in her step. Morning! Hey, Mark. Uh, hey, may I ask you something? Sure thing. We're dating now, right? Yeah. Can we go on a date today, then? Of course. But where? Hmm, I didn't think about that. Oh! Lily suddenly came up with an idea. How about a city park? It's a common place for dates and books. We can go there, no problem. After dinner? Um, it sounds good to me. After that, I'd like to bake a nice cake for you. This time, it has to work with that, with that timer. Do we have all the ingredients? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I used some for my previous trials. Let me check. Excuse me. I just love this game because I loved Iris' story. And re-watching through it in the editing, there were some things I would reword myself. Uh, of how I'd react and how I'd respond. But you know what? I can always do that every time. What my response was in there is still my thoughts and my feelings. I just rethought them. You know what? You... Hindsight is twenty twenty. So, but so far I loved Iris' story. I'm loving Lily's story because she's such an adorable little girl. Uh, you know, she's seventeen. Iris is nineteen, and uh, Rose is twenty one, as they said. Uh, but point is, because she's uh, in this story, she's a she. Well, she just seems more like the the sweet, uh, more sweet kind. But Iris, you know, she was sweet too. You know what? They're I don't know what I'm saying anymore about saying who's what. They're all they're both sweet, and I can't wait to read Rose's story. Lily went to the kitchen cabinet where we store dry ingredients. Looks like we need flour, sugar too. It might not be enough. Next, you check the fridge. Can we also buy eggs? There's only one left. Gosh dang! So, how much eggs did the last uh, trial take? Because <laughs> usually they come in carts of 12. But for my family being so big, it comes in carts of uh, 24. <laughs> we buy in bulk at, <laughs> at Costco. <laughs> oh, and we don't have any milk. Alright. You have enough butter, but it'll be gone after I use it. Alright. Mm, thinking about milk, can we also buy cocoa powder? Alright. <laughs> so basically, we need to buy everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. No problem. We, we can go to the store on the way home from the park. I don't need to be sorry. This is fun. This is going to be fun. 
That's a great idea. Thank you. Hmm. Do we have baking powder? I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. Now that I think of it. Mark, you think of everything. Well, I, I guess like Iris, I... The reason why I feel like Iris and I would be really uh, well together is because she loves music. She likes thinking things through. But she's also very considerate and caring and wanting to make sure that she can take care of things and handle things. And I know I want to do that. And I find every opportunity I can to, you know, whenever I see it around the house. I'll, I'm will i going to do that. I want to help with that. And if I ever ask, can, we, can you help me with this and that? I go, yes. I barely think about it thinking of time, trying to calculate like Iris does. And mainly, she's very considerate, kind, they're all, um, both, so far, yeah, both that. But she's uh, calculative, she loves music, um, interests I'm interested in. And I really hope she loves games too. And not like a ton of games. Because I actually enjoy board games and card games like I did, well, growing up. Did. Do. Um... <laughs> So, I hope she doesn't mind that. Maybe occasional video games. Point is, I so far still feel um, Iris is the girl I would be with, but nothing, I nothing against Lily at all. She's very sweet. I ramble a lot, but this is just how, how I'm feeling and want to respond as. Thank you for listening. I want to be there. Oh no. It's the park. From from Iris' story. The birds are gonna get into my ears really loud. As we decided that morning, we went together to the park in the afternoon. In this in, in this series, I'm gonna be drinking a lot. I'm gonna wet my whistle. This is just like in my romance books. You know, I haven't read any romances. Can you tell me more about that? That's exactly what I'd do. I want to be involved and and share interest. I have nothing against reading books. I know I haven't, and not like you knew that, but I would I actually did enjoy the the stories that I did read. I just have a thing against paper. Paper and cardboard irritates my you know, my skin. But the stories, that's something. Hmm, what should I tell you? What's the usual plot? For example, what's happening in Parks and Books? It depends on the author, of course. Almost every book has different scenes. Definitely, because otherwise, what's the... The birds are coming. They're getting closer. <laughs> But yeah, every author's different. Has their own way of telling, telling things. Just like this uh, this uh, author to um, this making this story. This is considered a game, but it's more of just a story that you're just reading. And the only thing that's different in every play from person to person is not the story. The story will be the same for every person that's, re that's reading this. It's their response to it of what they would choose instead to say or do. I ramble a lot. Sorry about that. But then again, I'm not. Because I enjoy doing this. Although, when you read enough of them, there are some uh, cliches. So, what's most common? Mm. But it also depends on time of the year of setting. How so? There they are! And then they start easing up. <laughs> Why, directors? Why, developer? Why did you do this? <laughs> like, for example, in autumn, we have falling leaves and dried and dried ones on the ground. Very pretty, by the way. Very pretty scene. And the leaves pile, uh, and, and the leaf piles, right? Yeah. So. For example, the boy and girl jump into the pile of leaves. Which sounds like a whole bunch of fun. 
though if the, if the leaves are dry. Sometimes they're moist because of the uh, of the uh, humidity or something, the atmosphere. It sometimes uh, little dew drops are on them, and then it gets all sticky. <laughs> and bugs like to uh, <laughs> sit inside the leaves. So, but for the enjoyment part, just for the funsies of it. But why? Hmm. And I I spoke my part. A good question. You never know what's in the pile. Exactly. <laughs> huh? You know, dirt, mud, and stuff. I don't think it's romantic at all when you think when I think of it. Logic. <laughs> but regardless, it's fun. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But for the silly form of it, go do it. <laughs> Alright, so what else? Oh, um, winter? Couples throw snow at each other. I hate winter's cold. It bites. It really seeps into my bones. But I don't hate it fully, because it's definitely... It's its characteristic in the Four Seasons. So I can't hate it fully. I just hate the cold of it. <laughs> Is it really romantic? Hey, don't you want to play a bit like that? Actually, it might not be bad. It actually would be fun. Just bundle up warmly, everyone. And don't let us seep down your shirt and pants! Can we try it this winter, if you like? Uh, we can try this winter, if you like. Sure, we can. I'd love to. It would definitely be fun. Snowing, uh, throwing snowballs. I, I don't know when was the last time I, I did it. Probably when I was a child. Do you want to? S do you want to say I'm childish? Before I click, I'll definitely say I'm childish. <laughs> oh no, not at all. Anyway, there are often some uh, some drama scenes in books. So, just to brief back, I know I'm talking a lot about my opinions, but that's the way it makes my uh, this my story. <laughs> I tell her, if she asks, does that make you childish? I, you know what? I'll say yes. But I'm also childish too. It doesn't, it just means you have that fun spirit in you. Just to make her more at ease if she feels like it's a downplay on you. No. It's saying that you love fun. As, as a child, your imagination can run wild. There's some things in movies and items I've seen that my imagination turned into a lot more fun. So, yeah. Anyway, there are often some trauma scenes in books. Drama? Nah, I... I don't want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. You asked what's in that book. You asked what's in them. <laughs> okay, please continue. <sighs> so, for example, they agreed to meet in a park, but one of them didn't come. Or they argue about something and separate in the middle of the park. Oh, I remember something else. On sunny days, in the books, they sometimes play hide and seek. But I don't want to look for you. I want you to, I want you to stay with me at all the time. It'd be just for a game, but it's very sweet of you, and I I feel the same way. I'd love to be with you all the time, too. But as for a game, would you like to? Would be my response. I want the same. But you know, we can't be together entire days, unfortunately. I know, I know. You have to go to the university tomorrow. I'd say work for myself, because... Well... Money comes from somewhere. And from what I know about university, I was told from a friend of mine that if you are in a university, apparently you have a grant or something, is what it's called, that they pay for your education and for your living so you can get the knowledge to get a diploma and be able to get a better paying job and then pay back. Um, in parts, of course. 
to pay off what's... They're back! The birds! Chirping so loudly in my ears! But anyways, to continue on. Uh, but you pay back the loans that they loaned to you. To so you, if you can gain your education. But come home so, as soon as possible then. Alright. I hope the last course ends quickly. When you come back, I'll be waiting. I'll be feeding you delicious sweets. Hey, don't overdo it. I'll become fat. <laughs> and what will happen? Uh, and then what will we do? And when that? And when I do that? <laughs> I will still love you. This is so adorable. Are you sure? I'm reading his. I would not. I wouldn't say this. I would say, "Oh, you're so adorable." <laughs> I would. I smirked a little as I teased her. Um, you fat? She looked at me from top to bottom, probably trying to visualize it. <laughs> All right, I won't do that so oh, so often then. What? You don't think I look good fat? I'll probably just be a jolly person that way anyway. Though I'd rather keep my slimmer figure. If it, if it happens to happen so, I'll just work out. You know what? I won't become fat because I'll work out enough. I'll take jogs in the park. I'll do some, some kind of uh, aerobics or whatever it is. Some kind of exercise just to make sure my body does not keep building up those fat cells. Oh, so looks do matter, right? Not my words. And what if I would be more chubby? Hmm. I have absolutely no idea. I would say. You'd be, you'd still be adorable. You'd still be very cute. But if you want to, you can exercise with me so we don't keep building up the cell, uh, building up the fat anyways. We can definitely exercise together. So we have little treats, but we work them off. But you know, you're pretty thin right now. Getting a bit of weight won't hurt. Strange. Usually women want to be as thin as possible. At least that's what I read. Well, it's good to have a nice fit figure. Let's just say that. It doesn't have to be thin. It doesn't have to be bulky muscles. Just fit. That's the word. I want to keep fit. And I gotta get on that for myself. <laughs> well, yeah. But you know, at some point it's unhealthy. Am I supposed to stay healthy? There you go. I'm glad, even though I'm speaking them, I'm glad I said it here. Is that B? So we can have long and happy life together. I would too. I would love that too. I'd like that too. Hmm. What now? You know, the park is rather boring after all. Well, if we don't do anything, but it's nature. It's it's nice to feel uh, feel nature. Uh, well, that's uh, what's that all of a sudden? It sounds nice in books, but as it is with books. Reality is harsh. So, you don't enjoy my company then? Not my words. It's not that. I could be with you wherever. So, how about we head home then? Of course. Oh, we can't forget the groceries. I remember. Don't worry. Sometimes I... Don't, I say things of my thoughts before I click, and then it turns out 
the uh, um the creator of this game had similar or the same things sure as i said whenever i say not my words it means i would never say something like that just because it doesn't sound right it doesn't sound fitting for uh something that i would normally say let's just say that after browning all the ingredients and resting a bit we began preparing the cake As you can tell, I'm loving this game so much. It's so sweet and romantic and lovely. I can't wait to find a girl of my own. <clears throat> all right, all right. Lily had her nose in the cookbook, nervously walking around the kitchen. Can you handle it, or do you want need to help? Don't worry, I have everything under control. Just go and relax. Watch TV. Surf the net. You know, I could actually prepare for tomorrow's classes. Well, for me, I'd uh, I'd probably see how Lily. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, si uh, Siri. Rose and Siri, right? I. Yeah. Why did I, why did I brain fart? Siri. Yeah. Iris! Not Siri! Siri is... I knew it had two eyes! <laughs> I just check on um, Rose and Iris to see how they're doing. Because I wouldn't have a school. Either ways. That's a good idea. It's Iris. You had a whole series of her. Two episodes, but still. A lovely series. <clears throat> uh, are you sure you'll do it? Don't forget to set the timer. Hey, have some faith in me. I would already. I would not have said those things. I'd say, good luck. No, actually, I wouldn't. That would implement I'm not trusting her. I'd say, let me know when it's done. Much better saying. About a, an hour later. But why? I could hear Lily from the kitchen. What happened? Wait there. I'll bring it. Uh, I'll bring it in a second. So what's wrong? It looks normal, I guess. No, it should be higher. I don't know what I did wrong this time. I would have said, it looks good to me. Not sure why he said, uh, it looks normal. Because, or, you know what, it was his choice of words. It, they both come out the same way. At least you didn't burn it. I tried to lighten up her mood. Yep, thanks to the timer you buy. Alright, can I try it? Go ahead. When I took a bite, it's... There's something wrong. How is it? Um... So I messed up? It's... How do I say it? Not fluffy enough. Oh, I must have mixed, mixed the proportions. Now this is what I consider a white lie, but more like altering what I should say. Not really a white lie, I'd say, just how I would say something. Even if it's not to expectations, if it still tasted good, I'd say, it's great. I don't know, it's just more like, it's not really a white lie, it's more like finding the good. Finding the good in it and emphasizing on that. I'm so sorry. You really have a useless girlfriend. I'll click and then I'll respond after. Hey, don't say that. Everyone has strong and weak sides. No one knows everything from the start. So far, so good. 
Is that true? Of course. Do you know how many mistakes I did when I started cooking? No, can you tell me? It's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> I'll tell you one. My mom wanted to uh, was making smoothies uh, with mixtures of fruits and stuff. I tried once. I made terrible applesauce. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that memory is still making is still putting a bit a seed of fear in me and going, I don't know if I should try that. <laughs> but I still want to try. I still want to try and I only get better even after mistakes. Sure, ingredients are lost in the process, which is a waste of food. But still. Just keep trying, keep practicing. If you want to do it, you should do it and keep trying and failing, trying and succeeding and then figure out, "Ooh, this is this would be actually pretty good." Nom 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 nom. nom. <laughs> a bit embarrassing. But I'm curious. I want to know more about you. And love to know more about you. <laughs> so, um, I often forgot to keep track of the boiling pasta. So often came up overcooked. Which is a really funny and fun game. <laughs> what else? Um, when, when I moved out from my parents, I cooked two big por uh, portions at first. My family is freaking big. Five sisters, me and my brother. But of course, siblings, uh, two siblings uh, moved out, so it's uh, a smaller, but still five. Right? Four sisters, me, my mom, so still a big family. Understandable. <laughs> so I ended up having some, uh, the same dinner for a few days straight. But if I enjoy the meal, you know what? I don't mind. <laughs> really? Really. Or, uh, oh, uh, or one day I wanted to cook some veggies in the oven. You know, that uh, kind of takes a ton of time. Veggies won't take that long. It will burn and siphon the life out of the very vegetables. Baked vegetables, keep watch. Heat will destroy them. <laughs> I, nicely season, uh, I nicely seasoned the veggies. <laughs> no, not robotic. I nicely seasoned the veggies. Uh, put in the oven and waited. Huh? Where's the mistake in it? Uh, you won't laugh? Depends on what you say. Good answer. <laughs> well, I forgot to turn the oven on. <laughs> I'll, I I'll won't read that part. <laughs> As I said, Everyone is allowed to make mistakes. In fact, I'll say that. It happened to me. I put something in a little mini oven and waited. I came back. Wait, oh, the timer's done. Reach inside. Wasn't even even plugged in. Because they were still covered in frost. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. For what? Just, I feel great with you. You know what to do makes me feel better. You know what to do. Yeah. Oh. You know what to do makes me feel better. I thought I was reading it wrong. I really love you. We hugged each other and kissed. I love you too. We stayed like that for a while until. Cake. Rose, no, don't! But it was too late! Rose, Rose's enthusiasm quickly faded after her first bite. Uh, um, what, what is this? It doesn't taste like cake at all. It's brownies! <laughs> or alternate brownies. Brownies would be chocolate, as far as I know. Actually, is there another type of brownie that is not chocolate? I gotta look that up. And so, yeah, that'd be interesting to know what color kind of brownies there are. I think, no, 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 no. Brownies are chocolate. It's titled that way. There are lemon bars. There are other things that have their own title. So, that's that. <laughs> the wink went fast. 
On one day, we decided to go to the cafe in that city. Pum pum pum. Or however you, however it's said. Pum pum pum. I date in a cafe. Are you happy? Yes, very very happy. We're going on a, a date at a cafe. It's again a bit cliche, but I don't mind as long as I'm with you. So, where are we going? Why am I asking? I know that I would know the city a bit better. <laughs> Unless you looked at Google Maps. I found Cafe through the internet. There you go. It's only had a few reviews, but they are very good. It's just a little further. Any reason you picked that particular one? <laughs> no telling. But I guess you'll understand as soon as you see it. Could this be the one? <laughs> I knew you'd figure that out. In front of us was a small, cozy cafe named Lily's Sweets. Ah, but now the title's taken, so she opens up her own restaurant. She can't name it that. Or maybe she can. But you know, um, maybe they something else. But regardless, how did you find it? I was just browsing cafes in the area, and that name came up. We went in and took our seats. You know, I'd like to have my own cafe like this one someday. So, um, um, Iris wants to make her own music and do um, some digital art. I would love to do music. And as for art, it's nothing against it. I would, and especially if I'm doing it with someone, uh, I would, I would like to practice and get better, uh, better at it. Um, but I want to learn how to do some more cooking, because making a good food, especially for a vegan, I'm just letting you know at this point in time, I'm vegetarian only because my family is, well, I don't know, it's just hard to find lots of vegan things. And making vegan recipes. It's not really hard to do that. Just we haven't done that yet. I should really get on that again. I, the point is, I want to make some more vegan recipes and make them taste really good. I want to make sauces. I want to have seasonings and herbs that I can mix in with vegetables and how to prepare them. Steam, boil, bake. Pretty much that. I want to make... I want to be a cook. At least for myself and the one I'm going to be with, my family. So, yeah, Lily wants to be a cafe owner. You? No, oh, no, 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 no. Not my words, not my words. I would encourage. Why not? And you'll be a co You'll be a co-owner. After you wish, huh. after you finish your studies, we can start working on it. I think we sh could be rich. It might work. But, well... Okay, I'm just gonna read it because it's their story, but I would be encouraging on this. I would be encouraging on this because it's her... It's her enjoyment. It's her, like... You know, it's, it's, a, it's a dream that she wants to fulfill. Well, I... I don't want to sound rude. Oh. If I won't learn it myself, You'll be cooking. But I won't learn. Oh. Or we'll hire someone. Iris can take care of finances, and Rose, um, she could be cleaning. You two have no, uh, no faith in your sister Rose. Come on. Uplift her. Um, actually, it might not be a bad idea. I'll have to think about it. I'm not sure why you started off with, I don't mean, with, uh, I don't want to be rude. Encourage it, go, that sounds great. I'd love to help. 
Anyways, continuing on. Being an owner of my own company, it's a dream, but who knows? Anyway, anyway, have you decided what you want to have? Take a look at archaeology, 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 archaeological, archaeological adventure. <laughs> Is that how you say it? What do you think? I flip pages of menu in search of that item. But Lily, that menu's for kids. Oh, I had noticed, but the cookies in Shape of Dinosaurs look cute. So then, um, how about brownies? Seems like to me. What? Do if she wants cookies, why not? It doesn't matter how old you are. Enjoy life. So that's just my decision over his. But still, I love the developer for the story and the characters that he that you laid before me. So, I'm just saying what I would say. Let's just say that. I'm just mainly uh, pointing that out. Seems fine to me. What about drinks? Orange juice. All right. Good morning. May I take your order? An older man. Oh. Last one was a waitress. This one is a waiter. My bad. <laughs> An older man appeared by our table. Yes, please. I heard what Lily and I had agreed on. Brownie and orange juice. Twice. I'll be right back. Hey, Mark. Yeah? Did you know that Brownie is also a name of a fairy? Fairy? You know, like in fantasy books. It comes from uh, comes from Northern England in Scottish folklore. How'd you know that? She said it. It. She read it. <laughs> well, when I stumble upon something I don't understand, I read even more. Very solid goodness. <laughs> yes, I'll stick with that saying. <laughs> Your world is truly amazing. It actually is. There's a lot of garbage in the world, though. I hope to stay away from a lot of it. <clears throat> anyway... Brownies are said to be household fairies. That type in... Uh, uh, that type that help in homes. Or, in other sources, a fairy of sweets. Ah. I'm just enjoying the music too, because, gosh darn it, I love this game. I said it all again, and again, I said it again. I'll say it when I want to say it. <laughs> they say it's an old man, but I'd like to believe it's a cute girl. As cute as you? Do you think I'm cute? Of course, and sweet as sugar. I'd say, I just say, of course I do. <laughs> the waiter came back with our order. I hope you like your uh, our brownies. They're homemade. I'm trying to sound like the uh, proper waiter, but you know, a waiter can be just anyone. It could even be me. I could have been a waiter and just, yeah, yeah, they're homemade. So, I don't know. I just did the stereotypical one. Sorry. Oh, amazing. Wow, I think this is the best dessert I've ever ha eaten. So far. I get where you went there. I smiled slightly and looked at the lily. I wonder what's their secret. Mm, magic. We'll never know. You know, these small places are often way better than the big ones. I think I'll agree to that. Hat. <clears throat> Bubble came up. I think I'll agree with that. Because, I don't know, bigger places, not always, but some big places are like trying to do big and bulky. Big and bulk. They want to do a lot of, so they 
kind of rush or do a lot of or something like that. And smaller places, they're just starting out. So they have a lot of heart into it. They doing it because, or you know, depending on, but let's just stick with the honest, true heart ones. They put their heart into it. They started off with the dream and with what they wanted to do and put their heart and, and effort into their, uh, their makings. Companies ran by generations are, do are doing it with love. Not like the ones only counting money. That could be true. And I think there's also charm here. Just look around. It's not so crowded. Usually you have a lot of t uh, tourists in a place like this. I can't disagree with you. After we ate, we started heading home. We hope to see you again. The man waved as we were leaving. Of course. I'm sure we... But when we turned around, there was no one there. Brownies. <laughs> I still apologize that I don't have a sound to my laugh. You just see me smiling and just breathing. <laughs> but that's my laugh. There's so many charming laughs out there. I won't, I'm not gonna... I kinda wish I had a sound to my laugh, but you know what? This is my laugh, so... I'll go, um, I'm living with it. After a date, Lily asked me to help in the kitchen. All right, what will we do? Here, let's read the recipe. I don't want to make any mistakes. Lily decided to bake simple butter cookies. <laughs> all right. Let's put all the ingredients on the counter first. On it. Can you read me what we need? One cup butter. Wait, cup of butter? But it's square. What do they mean by cup? How do I know how much it is? Oh, you lovely dummy. <laughs> we'll have to fit butter in a cup. Oh, that makes sense. I would, I would already know this. I'm just reading it. <laughs> Then, next, one cup of sugar. One egg. Two and two-thirds cup of flour. One-fourth teaspoon of salt. Hey, why do we have to add a pinch of salt? I thought it's supposed to be sweet. Oh, before I read, because uh, they're probably explaining it right now, and I'm, not, I'm just purposely ignoring it for the moment. I was told, and I have tasted, if you put a pinch of salt into something chocolatey, it it emphasizes on it. It adds to it. It it makes the chocolate that much more sweet, or something. It just adds that little extra flavor. Hmm. I don't actually understand it myself, but the recipe is the recipe. But I already explained. I learned this from taste testing it, and was told by it from well. Uh, Chef sister of mine. She likes making sweets herself. Um, alright. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Uh oh. We don't have that one! But wait, we do have vanilla sugar. Okay! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen or heard of vanilla sugar. Can we substitute with that? I'm not sure. Let me check on the net. Hey Rose, can you quickly check if... Yep. In, that, in this case we can. One and a half teaspoons per one teaspoon of extract. One and a half teaspoons per one... Okay. Just a little extra because the sugar is a little buffer and it is coating the sugar. So, there's less on it. 
So, three in our case? Looks like it. Okay, so let's move to the next path point. Mix butter with sugar and add egg and vanilla. Stir into, uh, stir into one consistent mass. How about I hold the mixer while you add all the ingredients? Yes, that might be good cooperation. <laughs> I've I've done that with a mixer in my younger days. I said uh, I put it in, turned it on, locked it down, and started doing it. Turned it to a big molding ball of dough, and started going thunk 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 thunk. <laughs> That's my young self <laughs> having fun. <laughs> la, 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 la. She hummed a happy tune, watching as I mixed the ingredients in a bowl. I love, as I mentioned in Iris' story, I I do, actually only for a brief moment I said it, but I I do make up little ditties and doodums of my own every once in a while, just for funsies. I'm baking cookies with my boyfriend. After it's all done, I just lean over and just give her a big old hug. Looks like it's done. Now we just need to leave the dough covered for an hour. Hmm. Uh, uh, just a little throb on the forehead. Maybe it's all the reading. Or maybe it's just a lack of water. Hold on. <sighs> Hopefully that helps. Let's prepare trays with paper in the meantime. How is it? Did it work? I have no idea, but looks good so far, I guess. All right, let's set the oven to 200 Celsius. So this is definitely not America because we do degrees, but I was told that um, uh, there's a certain uh, America and other places have like America does something different than other places. So there's degrees and Celsius, and then there's inches and centimeters. And centimeters go in hundreds, and then something like that goes up and up in nice gradual numbers. And I'm guessing Celsius does the same thing, where it's more smart and thought out. Why is America being so difficult? <laughs> this is just where I'm living, okay? <laughs> In the meantime, let's prepare the cookies. Can we use the forms we bought the other day? The forms? Cookie cutters? Ah, of course. Lily happily pressed out different animals and symbols from the dough. Ah, I, I, I thought so. She said forms, so... Oh well, that's how they wanted to say it in here. Nice work. So, what's next? Cooking would be fun. You know, I'm, there's parts of each of these girls that I'm sure I'd love each about. But Iris is still, uh, like, music and just how she th thinks and acts. I feel, feel like Iris would be more uh, the girl for me. But Lily, she's just a sweet, adorable pers uh, person I would still love to be with. Maybe she'd like music, too. Or maybe she would just enjoy me uh, practicing music. Or practice with Iris anyways. And play with, uh, play for Lily. Anything can happen. She doesn't have to be interested in everything I do. No, well, you know, interested in doing the same things. But still admiring it. Because you can admire something from someone else. But still not do it yourself. <sighs> Stiffness. <clears throat> Looks like the oven reached the temperature already, so we have to bake them in it for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay. I'll set the timer then. After the time passes... It worked! <laughs> it really worked! Do you want to taste? Hey, slow down. Let them cool first. <laughs> oh, right. 
But we made it together. Yes, <laughs> together. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I didn't know what would happen when I opened the doors a few months ago. And I was nervous if I if it would really work out with Lily. But when I see her smi her smiling face, I want to see her like this that every day. The timid bookworm. The achievements behind my head. Yes, there. <laughs> Another sweet story. And I feel like the second episode, this one, is a lot longer than the first one. So maybe it could have been three episodes, but you know what? I still enjoyed it. Uh, sitting in this whole long time. So, yeah. After Rose's story, I'm, I would like to know which person, uh, which one of the girls you all enjoy the most. And of course I love all of them. I just can't wait to see what Rose is like and what her interests are and how uh, romance uh, blossoms with her. So until then, I still feel like uh, Iris is the girl I, I would love to be with more. But still, uh, uh, Lily, she's a sweetheart as well. So either one. So thank you guys for stopping by and joining me on uh, Lily's story. Look forward to seeing uh, Rose's story. And of course, by the time you see this, it's already out. So <laughs> thank you guys for stopping by, and until I see you guys again, have a great day, everyone.